The Tascam DR40 is Tascam's latest offering in the field of portable digital audio recorders. It's quite affordably priced, retailing for around $149, and it's the only handheld audio recorder at that price that offers two XLR mic inputs. Here you can see that the main controls are well laid out. The mixer button lets you access the DR40's built-in mixer. In addition to the mixing facility, the DR40 offers four-channel recording. Unlike previous Tascam models, the DR40 uses buttons instead of a jog wheel to scroll through menus and settings. Let's look at some of the other features of the DR40. The DR40 features a large, crisp, and very readable display screen. The recorder also features status lamps to show when it's in 4-channel or overdub modes, and there's also a peak level lamp that lights up when recording levels exceed 0 decibels. The two XLR inputs shown here also allow the attachment of microphones that have standard quarter-inch mono plugs. The controls on the left side of the recorder are quite straightforward. The line-out jack lets you connect headphones that are equipped with a 3.5mm or 1 8 of an inch mini plug for monitoring. Selecting mic plus phantom lets you use XLR mics that require phantom power. On the right hand side is the mini USB jack that lets you connect the recorder to a computer so that files can be transferred onto your hard drive. Next to that is the SD card slot. If you don't have substantial fingernails, you'll find that opening the SD card door is a pain. The DR40 accepts SD cards as large as 32 gigabytes. Like a number of other handheld audio recorders on the market, the DR40 offers adjustable microphones. When they are placed close together, an XY stereo image results. The sound stage can be expanded by moving the mics further apart into an AB pickup pattern. The recorder takes three AA size batteries. While battery life on the DR40 is decent, a couple sets of rechargeable batteries is recommended if you plan to engage in lengthy recording sessions. On the back of the DR40, you'll also find a thread hole so that you can mount it on a tripod. Above the mounting hole is a small speaker that lets you listen to recordings without needing to use a pair of headphones. The speaker isn't great, so it's best used for off-the-cuff quality checks rather than definitive analysis. Let's take a listen to how the DR40 performs in real-world situations. This is a test of the Tascam DR40 digital audio recorder using the internal microphones set to an XY stereo pattern. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is a test of the Tascam DR40 digital audio recorder connected to an Asden SGM PD2 shotgun microphone. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is a test of the Tascam DR40 digital audio recorder connected to an Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser XLR microphone. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Conclusions On the pro side, you've got good sound quality, decent battery life, fairly quiet preamps when XLR mics are used, and the build quality is fairly good, better than previous inexpensive Tascam recorders, but don't expect the recorder to survive rough handling. And finally, it's very attractively priced and represents great value for the money. On the con side, the SD card slot is hard to access. Handling noise can be heard when using the DR40's built-in microphones, although this is a problem common to all inexpensive handheld recorders, regardless of make. And lastly, the recorder's internal clock bleeds through when mics with a quarter-inch plug are used, a serious flaw that a firmware update hasn't resolved. Verdict? The DR40 offers amazing value for the money and is an excellent choice if you can't afford a Zoom H4n. That's it for this episode of Supertech Zone Reviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time.